Hi and welcome to Outwell and to the Roswell 5ATC from our Air TC collection. You can see here that it's a tunnel design tent. It's aimed to sleep up to five people across two bedrooms at the back. There's a sealed living space here and this long canopy at the front, all of which we'll show you in detail shortly, but first we'll start off on the outside. So uh, I'd like to start you off on the fly sheet that we're using here. This is our Outex AirTech material. So this is where the TC uh, letters come into the collection name. This is a technical cotton, otherwise known as a poly cotton. So what we have here is a 65% cotton material and 35% polyester. Um, so this actually has a few advantages, uh, which I'll just take you through. For me, the first advantage here is just how long lasting this material is. Um, it's quite good at lasting long time under uh, UV degradation, so sunlight. Uh, so you would expect this to last for a good long time. Uh, the second is that it's a breathable material, so ideal for those who are using this in a warmer climate because uh, it'll keep you a little bit more cooler and comfortable inside the tent. Uh, it will actually react to the environment that it's in though, so if it is uh, quite cold, cool weather, then this material will react to keep you a little bit warmer actually inside the tent. So like I say there, it does react to the environment that it's in. Uh, lastly, this material is naturally waterproof, although we do put a coating on here just to allow water to sort of bead off of the material. Uh, when it's light drizzle. Um, but for the tent to sort of seal itself, if you like, all it needs to happen is it just needs to get wet and dry just a few times. Now, of course, that can happen just uh, in general use the first few times, or if you do want to, you can, of course, do that yourself and just wet it and let it dry and just repeat that a few times. And as I say, this material will actually seal itself. Uh, so next, I think the most important thing here is the frame that we're using. So you can see just on here, we have our power air tube system, and that's just clearly highlighted on the outside here. So what that means is we have inflatable tubes that run uh, across the tent, uh, of which there are three, but the power air tube system also means that at the back here, we have a bracer tube uh, just to allow for maximum uh, stability and rigidity on the tent itself. Uh, the front canopy area does have a steel pole uh, at the front there, and of course that's gonna keep this nice and solid and stable. Uh, so you can see that just slides through onto here. So in terms of setup, of course, you can uh, have a look on our YouTube channel to see the setup procedure. But um, this actually just zips on to the front of the tent. And then you have the steel pole here to create this canopy. Of course, that does mean that if you don't want to use this, you don't have to. But it is certainly a great feature of the tent. So just popping back around here, uh, I'll just highlight that because the tent is inflatable, of course, we do supply it with a pump and it looks just like this here. So it's a two-way double action hand pump. Uh, so the double action uh, two-way part just means that every time you pull the lever up and push the lever down, you are inflating these tubes. Uh, the pump also has a pressure gauge on top here. So you can keep an eye on the pressure uh, that you're inflating the tent to. And we would recommend inflating this up to seven PSI, which represents 0 0.5 bar. So now what I'd like to do is just show you the valves that allow you to inflate and deflate this tent so easily and quickly. So here you can see on the side of the tent is where we have the valves. Now there is one of these on each tube uh, that runs across the tent here. And you can see here that this is actually one valve for the air in and for the air out. And I'll show you how it works. So to inflate the tent, it's just a case of taking this outside cap off. And when I do that, you'll see here there's no air coming out at all because this is a one-way valve. So of course, this is where we would attach the pump. Uh, to deflate the tent is nice and easy. All we have to do is actually just unscrew the entire valve just from the back around here and take the whole valve out. And of course, that's going to allow for quick and easy deflation. And as I say, there is one of these on each of the tubes. So even though this material is breathable, we still like to put in plenty of ventilation to allow fresh air into the tent. So you can see just on the front uh, two corners of the tent, we have these uh, little sort of ventilation pods here. Um, but then down the sides of the tent, we have large ventilation panels like this one here. So under there, there's a strip of mesh. And there is the same on the other side, but it's just on the door that we have rolled away at the moment. So a great feature of this tent is the fact that we have large windows all the way around here. So obviously the side door is rolled away at the moment, but there's a window on here, all the way around the front of the tent and on the other side as well. So these windows are all tinted. So they serve two key functions, one of which is to reflect uh, some of the uh, glare from the sun from the inside of the tent. And the second is, of course, to give you great privacy within there as well. Uh, you can also see then we're using our floating guy lines around this tent. So this is where we have the uh, black guy line at the top here, which ties in with the trim color on the tent. And then at the bottom half of the guy line, we have the luminous part here, which is hopefully going to stop you from tripping over these quite as easy 
when it's a little bit darker. So the floating guy line comes from the fact that that luminous uh, section at the bottom there from a distance actually looks like it is floating. Uh, so all of these guy lines also have their own retainers as well. So when it comes to packing the tent down, we can easily wrap up the guy lines in our hands and pop them into these loops here so that the next time you come to use the tent, the guy lines are going to be easily accessible from there. So as I said at the beginning here, this tent features uh, a large zip-on canopy, which does come with the tent, just to highlight that. So what this gives you is a fantastic area uh, for you to be able to get some shade, if you're lucky enough for it to be a hot, sunny day. Or if it's uh, a little bit wet and drizzly outside, then obviously this is going to give you good shelter. Uh, just to highlight on the front of the canopy, we do have these good quality uh, thick storm straps on the front here, which should keep this uh, canopy standing in slightly higher winds. Of course, you can zip it off if you wish, though. So the, uh, the front door of the tent itself, we can see here, is open for us at the moment. But you can see that it's a D-door style, so it rolls to the side, making it nice and easily accessible. Uh, as I said, the door itself does have a full large window on there. So even when the outside door is closed, uh, you still have uh, good views from within the tent. Uh, also in here, just behind this main front door, there is a full mesh door in here. So these are actually two separate doors. So you can leave the outside one rolled away like this, and then you can zip over the full mesh door to give you great uh, sort of through flow ventilation, if you like, inside the tent, but keep out those unwanted bugs. Uh, the tent from the front to the back is fully sealed and side to side as well, of course. So this is a good quality double coated polyethylene material, which has a hydrostatic head of 10,000 mil. So you can see here that it comes up around the edges to stop drafts, dirt, dust, sand, things like that. And again, hopefully keep out those unwanted bugs as well. Uh, but what I want to highlight to you here is that the front of the ground sheet can be laying flat as we have done here. There's a couple of pegging points in place. Uh, if you don't want that though, you can simply uh, take these pegs out and lift this up, which will then zip onto the front door here to create a fully sealed front of the tent. So space-wise, there's plenty of space in this tent. It's a good height. Uh, I'm quite tall at around 1 meter 95 and I can stand up in here no problem at all. Uh, there's a good amount of living space as well. You see we have some pieces of furniture in here and there's still lots of space uh, left over. The uh, tent has a lantern hanging point. You can actually see here that we're using one of our Corvus strip lights, which is attached to the lantern hanging point in the middle here. And then running away from that in both directions, we also have these cable tidies, which you can see we are utilizing at the moment, which just runs along this tube here down to where we have a cable entry point, as I said, which just zips open, allowing you to, as we have here, bring the cables into the tent while still keeping this door closed. So while I'm here, I'll just highlight that the side door here is the same as the front door. So you do have that uh, outside poly cotton door, which has a window on it rolled away at the moment. Um, but then you also have this full zip mesh door in here as well. So again, great ventilation properties within this tent. Uh, at the back is where the bedrooms are located. And this tent can sleep up to five people uh, across two bedrooms. Um, the way that we hang the bedroom in is using our wave shaped hanging point. So that's where we have this sort of mesh shape around the top here, which obviously gives it a nice style, but it also has a great function of taking any stress off of the top seam of the bedroom. Uh, you can also then see that we have the stripes on the inner tent. Of course, that's going to give you that home away from home feel. Uh, some other features then on the outside, we have these handy storage pockets, which are great for smaller personal possessions. And you'll also see that the bedroom doors have got mesh panels in here too, and it's a dark mesh uh, color. So you still get a little bit of privacy within the bedrooms. Uh, if you want more privacy, then there is a curtain which we have just rolled away at the moment, which you can zip up completely to close over. Uh, inside the bedrooms, there are more features to highlight. Uh, so along the sides of the bedrooms, we have some handy storage pockets. These are going to be ideal for phones or toys or chargers or anything like that. Across the back, we have a large ventilation panel, which again corresponds to outside ventilation on the fly sheet. And then separating the two bedrooms, you can see here we have a full zipped piece of material. So pretty much about as much privacy as you're going to get within the bedroom area. But what that does mean is you can open this up to create one large bedroom or have it as is where the bedrooms are split. You'll also then just see that we have these zips on here and that highlights the fact that we're using our universal in our system. And we'll just show you now how that works.
So one thing I mentioned earlier is all these large windows around the outside of the tent. If you do want more privacy or less light coming into the tent, you'll see that each window has its own curtain, which is just zipped away at the moment. Uh, so with it having two zippers either side here, we can just bring this up to choose exactly how much privacy or light you're letting into the tent. Above the window here then is just uh, the strip of mesh that I pointed out from the outside that corresponds to that outside ventilation on the fly sheet. So we have uh, a few optional extras available for this tent, which would be the fleece carpet for the living space in this area here. And of course, that's going to give you a little bit more comfort underfoot. There is then also a footprint available that can go under this ground sheet here, and that's going to help protect your ground sheet and, of course, keep it clean and dry on those wet and muddy days. There is also then an awning available for this tent, which, again, just can be zipped on here out the front for those who are looking for that little bit more living or storage space. So there you have it then, that's all the features of the Roswell 5ATC from our Air TC collection. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, this tent can be inflated using our Typhoon 12 volt compressor pump.